Hello everyone, today I will show you how I created this animation of a walking car. So I already had an illustration of a car with hands instead of wheels. I insert the illustration onto the canvas and apply transparency. I create a new layer and start drawing basic guidelines. To draw a straight line, hold the pencil for a second in the final point. To make a line parallel to the canvas, tap the screen again with your finger. So, we align everything along the guides. They will be useful to keep the horizon during work. I group the lines and illustration together. In the settings, I turn on Animation Assist, and I set the first frame as the background. The main thing is to come up with how it would now walk. To draw the gate, I usually take a reference from human or animal storyboards. This time I took a horse as a reference. Well then, I add this image as a reference through the settings. I chose these five frames and based on them I started drawing a sketch of the front hand. First, the hand is in the center, then it moves backward. Next frame, the hand rises into the air to move forward. The following two frames, the hand lands in front and moves backward. In the settings, we set frames per second to six. To properly loop the gate, I duplicate the first frame and place it at the end. This is needed to see the position of the frame as a background when drawing the last frame. Then we will delete it. I slightly redraw it. So our first preview. A few adjustments to make the movement smoother. We move on to the second rear leg. Following the horse's storyboard, I draw the first frame of the leg in its most rear position. Then a frame with the raised leg and three frames where the leg smoothly moves back. Preview looks great. The third leg. In the horse, this leg is in the highest position on the first frame. I draw it. Now there are also three frames where the leg smoothly moves back. On the last frame, I made a slight movement towards lifting the leg. And so, the last, fourth leg. We draw it in the front position and two frames where the leg gradually moves back. Then a frame with a raised leg and also the process of landing. Preview all four legs. Then I refine the details and redraw some fingers and contours. I want a smooth effect. Preview. Now we will draw the edges of our car. So, guided by the height of the legs and guidelines in the background, I draw tilted lines. Where the leg reaches, the car body also goes up. We also draw the rear edge. Alongside these edges, we draw the upper lines of the roof. Another preview. Now we need to connect the car body lines so that we get the correct rectangles. And in the same way, we connect the roof. Great, now we finish drawing the rest of the car. These are the lower lines that also connect with the top part. And connections with the roof. The last detail of the sketch is the exhaust pipe. While the sketch is quite ready, the next stage is intermediate frame drawing. We make the animation smoother. I set frames per second to 12. Intermediate frames are drawn clearly between neighboring ones, otherwise the animation will be jerky. First, I draw the legs.
preview, of course, the car body blinks, but you can evaluate the legs or arms. And now, let's move on to drawing the car body on these intermediate frames. And don't forget the exhaust pipe. Let's watch the final preview of our draft. Moving on. The next stage is the final cleanup. To do this, first I take the color I need, holding my finger on the right place in the illustration. And I turn off all the layers in the background. Now I need to create a new layer and group it with the first frame of the draft. I apply transparency to the draft and set the value of onion skin frames to zero. Now I carefully trace each detail of the animation. Each frame must also be grouped with new layers. I try very hard to draw each frame accurately and evenly. I draw the second leg on the same layer as the first one. Now I add a new layer to each group and draw the car body. I draw cutouts for the hands manually, and I decided to remove the car body edges with an eraser. Let's speed up this process. The next step is drawing the hands in the background. I also draw them on a new layer under the car body. Let's watch the preview. What do you think? Adding details. I start with the exhaust pipe. Then I draw the division of doors and handles. Another touch is the reflections on the glass. The last thing left to do is the eyes. Here I had creative suffering and drew several eye versions because I didn't like the headlights. Which version do you like more? I chose this one. I think the animation turned out at least unusual. Let me know if you enjoyed watching the process and listening to my comments. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.